gosh, Libby, that was so loud. What kind of dinosaur was that? Mary here says, was it a Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, it was a rhino. Mary, it was a rhino. Mary's just putting her cardigan on and she's going to come up and see you, Louis, OK? When did you last see your nanny? After breakfast. Was that after the porridge up the wall incident? Right, OK. She said she was just popping up to the loo, but you haven't seen her since. OK, well, Mary's just going to come up and... Do I, do I want to hear you run up and down the corridor as fast as you can? Um... Go on then, but have the phone with you. Don't let go of the phone and, and run very carefully. Um, I'm just wondering whether doing Good Morning Britain, Lorraine and Loose Women is maybe taking it a step too far, Camilla. Steph's packed lunch. Yeah. I mean, I could have a word with Ant and Deck. And I'm a celeb. What are you like with parachutes and eating? Yeah. OK. Um, but I was thinking a more filmic route. Johnny Depp bought... A village in France and an island after he appeared in Disney films. I mean, I'm not saying you to be Jack Sparrow. I mean, I, I see you more in a sort of Cruella de Vil type role, but James Bond. Yeah. Oh, wow. How amazing would it be to be a James Bond villain? I've always wanted. You see yourself stepping into the Judy Dench role of M. Well, I suppose you have had a, a bit part in EastEnders. You didn't get the doof doofs though, Camilla. I mean, <laughs> yes, we all have a bit of a laugh with George um, about, about the king and the queen and the knight in chess club. <laughs> he is showing good signs of progress um, in the world of academia. He finds history Fascinating, if a little alarming at times. But we all have a good laugh about the fact he's related to Henry VIII. <laughs> one, thing, um, one thing I have noticed since the Jubilee, he's taking more of a sanatorial awareness in himself, um, rather like Henry VIII. Um, it was very... Um, we did notice he is carrying around a clothes brush in his back pocket and if he gets any bits of fluff on him, he's very meticulous about brushing it off. He also is carrying around a, a, a comb with him. And Miss Frobish would notice the other day he, he was looking back at his hair with a little bit of hair gel. There was a rumour that he was also in his rucksack, carrying around lipstick and foundation. Just if you can remind him, makeup isn't allowed in school. I appreciate he has to be media ready, but... <laughs> oh no, Kate, it's not you, my darling. I can't get him to sit down and listen to music either, for love nor money. If it's wet play, um, we play Farmers in the Den, he likes that. Zip zap boing. He can't sit still, can he? He's got ants in his pants. <laughs> I know, I know, he's a nightmare. Um, but he likes to be active and be outside. Um, yeah, I had him te tested for vitamin D. He seems to want to be outside all the time, exploring. He, he loves the slide and the climbing frame and the tunnel and the tyre and the rope and the car and the bike. Yes, he does always like to be doing. Well, well, I put him in a little suit because of course he's our future, future king, isn't he? And I thought formal attire. Yes, I'm sure Diana would have put him in shorts and t-shirt, but Diana's not here, is she? And as Nanny, I... Yes, Charlotte was a bit tired. It's been a very long day for her. Well, they seem to enjoy waving the flags anyway. They did a few close-ups, Your Highness. And then the children looked like they were smiling and having a good time. Yes, you did sound a little bit like Greta Thunberg when you went onto the stage, but I appreciate you appealing to the next generation. And... Hello, 
Hi, Kate. Yes, uh, please do help yourself to a, a biscuit. Do you have sugar? Um, yeah, it's a bit awkward, really. Uh, but I wanted just to have um, a quiet chat with you. Charlotte hasn't been herself since the Jubilee. Um, she thought she was going to be queen. Yeah. She had no idea that George was going to take the throne. She's been researching into it. I caught her googling kings and abdication. I think she saw herself in quite a, a, a powerful, pivotal role. She's very determined. Calm down, Your Majesty. We'll, we'll let's talk about this, and we'll, we'll sort something else. Okay, please, please stop crying, please. Um, now, now we'll, we'll sort something else. Don't worry. Now, um, only thing is, we're worried. You know, ninety-five years old. Uh, a bit worried about you being on horseback. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, there is a disabled horse riding company that can provide you with a horse and cart. Can I suggest that might be a bit? Of... You want to just watch from the balcony? Okay, yeah, you can watch from the balcony with your family. It's probably quite astute, isn't it? Now, whilst you're on the balcony. Um, you're okay with just a stick, or do you need a frame or a wheelchair? You're okay with the with the stick, okay? Um, what about any thoughts about maybe sitting on thrones on the balcony or on chairs of some description? No, it's imperative that everybody stands, okay? Now, how many children are going to be on the balcony? You've got quite a big family these days, haven't you? Lots of okay. Megan will look after the grandchildren um, in, in the lounge behind the balcony. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, so they won't all be uh, rushing around and knocking you over. Great. Good idea. Um, moving on to St Paul's, if I may be so bold. A bit worried about the number of steps there. Yeah, the hundreds, aren't there? And that great big long aisle. Yeah. Um, is there a side entrance? Or we can loan you an, a, a nice electric wheelchair. They come in quite jazzy colours. We can always bling them up with a few jewels or something. Um, is there a side entrance to St Paul's? Preferably a side room with a toilet as well, so you can just nip out and go to the loo whenever you uh, whenever you want. No, you're going to watch it on. You're going to watch your jubilee on the TV. Okay. Uh, are you going to do a video phone? No, you don't want to do a video phone link up, and you definitely don't want to go because it will be easier for everybody if you don't go because of your mobility issues. It's a sad indictment of our disabled world that we live in, isn't it, Your Majesty, that you don't feel enabled to go to your own um, jubilee. Um. Mm. But Terry's asking me to give you a quick ring back. Um, we're thinking clothes wise, will this enable you a little bit more over the jubilee period? Obviously, let's start from the top. Obviously, you don't want to be sitting with your hair in curlers um, all morning, do you? And how long do they normally spend doing your makeup? Look, I reckon just brush your hair back. Put on, you know, as long as you brush your hair and put your lipstick on, Your Majesty. Yeah, I mean, I was in hair and makeup. I mean, that's exhausting, isn't it, at 95? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, if you have time to put on earrings and necklace, great. Um, but don't worry, if not, I'm sure people will uh, forgive you. Um, moving, let's start with your shoes, actually. We're thinking trainers. We can always bring them up with a few jewels for you. Uh, but if your feet are comfy, yeah. Um, now, are you all right with a stick, or do you need a simmer frame, or an electric wheelchair? No, you're okay, you're sure you're okay with just the one stick? Okay, um, clothes-wise, um, I know you're a big fan of tights, we're thinking not very easy on and off a ball, maybe scrap the tights, therefore scrap the skirt, maybe go for some comfy slacks. Also, with your other issue, we suggest an adult diaper just in case. Yeah, there's some really good ones on, on, on the market. And just a nice loose top, so we just want you to be comfortable. You know, um, it's you that people want to spend time with and you that they want to see. Yeah, yeah, so we're thinking, just a quick resume there. Um, comfy feet, we're thinking trousers, we're thinking diaper, we're thinking... Not too much fuss. Well, Kate, how lovely to see you. Thought you might be having a duvet day after the weekend. Gosh, it didn't stop, did you? Bless you. Oh, you look so well presented. The children, what a credit to you. Oh, no, no, no. Part of Louis' charm. We don't think anybody noticed that. All that. Don't think we noticed that, Kate, don't worry. Didn't George look smart in his suit? Looks exactly like his daddy. Charlotte, I think Charlotte conducted herself with real uh, grace and elegance. She's probably all block of the Queen, isn't she? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hello, Prince William. Um, I was just wondering, the fact I performed last night at the Jubilee, does it mean that I'll be getting a knighthood anytime soon or...? No. 